Hey everyone, Johnny here. In this video, I want to show you a script I've written to help set up retopology in Blender. Let's get into it. The script is available on GitHub. I'll put a link in the description. On the GitHub page, simply click the code button and download the zip. In Blender, go to the Edit menu and Preferences. Under the Add-ons menu, click the Install button. Navigate to the file you downloaded and double-click on it. With the add-on shown, check the box to enable it, and then close the Preferences menu. To use this add-on, select your high-poly mesh, press the spacebar to search, and type in Retopo. Several things will happen when you do this. A plane will be created at a selectable distance away from your primary object. A shrink wrap modifier will be enabled, but if you don't want shrink wrap, you can turn that off. If you have shrink wrap enabled, you can also see the cage modifier for it. A mirror modifier is also added. If you don't want a mirror modifier, you can of course disable that as well. If you disable the mirror modifier, the newly created object will be placed along the center line. With mirror modifier enabled, it'll be shifted off to the side. The newly created object will be set to show in front. You can also select what screen color you want this object to be. Snapping is turned on and set to face. And also, set project to individual elements is turned on in snapping. The viewport is set to solid shading mode and back face culling is also turned on. Auto merge is turned on. And lastly, our original object is set to non-selectable. To re-enable selection later on, we'll have to select the original model in the outliner and in the object properties panel under visibility, enable selectable, and it'll be selectable once again. With all of this set up, we can now start retopologizing our object. So if you're doing a lot of retopology, go ahead and give this script a try. Like I said, it's free on my GitHub page and you're more than welcome to download it. I hope this helps, and I hope it inspires you to make something awesome. If you're enjoying the channel, make sure to hit subscribe. And until next time, this is Johnny, and I'll catch you later.